I don't quite like that. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about blush. Everything you need to know. All your questions answered about blush placement, formula, colors, what you should be applying blush with. Absolutely everything. For those of you who are new in here, hi, my name is Beryl. I like everything skincare and beauty and post every Sunday at 7 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content and also hit the bell notification. I would also love it if you could drop and say hi to me on Instagram. Let's get straight into the blush. A blush has to be tailored like any complexion product to your own needs. What is a blush supposed to do to our face? I won't want to achieve like something how I would look when I naturally blush. Like the blood flow goes from my cheek to my ears. You know what I mean. But when I wear a blush, I want to achieve flush of color on my cheeks as if I'm enjoying the fresh air in the mountains. First, try to determine the type of skin that you have, whether it is dry, combination or oily skin. This will help you choose the formula of blush that you would want for your skin. It could either be creamy, it could be a liquid blush, or it could be the powder formulation. Now let me show you a cream blush that I might have. A product that I absolutely love is this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This formula is very creamy. It can be applied on the top of foundation as well. You can even apply it on bare skin. You actually don't need any product for this product to look beautiful on your skin. I'd say anyone from dry combination or normal skin can wear this. But I would not suggest for people with oily skin to wear this. Now let's talk about combination skin. What is combination skin? Combination skin is where we are oily only on the T-zone. Oily skin is oily on every part of your face. If you have oily skin, I would suggest any day a powder blush. But even after wearing a blush, you will need a powder to set that blush. Now, this is the blush and the color payoff is super crazy. So easy to blend. And these by Pat McGrath are perfect blushes. Now let's talk about the application. I like this triple brush for blush because this disperses the color and gives us a nice airbrush finish. This is Pack 206. I'll link it for you. I love this brush because I feel this has the right size for a blush. Even if you want to go for a conventional dome brush, I would suggest going for a smaller one because this big one will disperse the color all over. Now, let's take the product. I would swirl this into the pan. Most people get it right according to them, but they still feel they don't look however they want to look. Maybe they have the wrong color or they would have placed it wrong or they might be just using the wrong thing. My brush was clean. So I just wanted to tell you how much of a difference does it make when your brush is clean, when you apply any powder blush. So I felt I should make this video only dedicated to blush to show you the basics. Many people blow their excess of their brush. Don't blow on your brush, please. Let me take a tissue here. Take the excess off and then I will tap it on the top of my cheeks. One small tip. 
you can apply your cream product with a sponge and then top it up with a powder brush. This will give longevity to your makeup. There are lots of places where you could apply your blush. I will show you how I like to apply it for that lifted appearance. Apply a pinch more blush for it to stay long. Don't just order blush that you liked on someone else because their skin tone might not be the same as yours. I'll come back with this blush applied on the other cheek as well so that you can see how it looks on my skin. I'm back. And can you see how it looks like when you apply it the right way? Let me know in the comments below if you were able to find the right formula of blush and the right shade of blush for yourself. You could try this technique and let me know if this was easy and how did you feel after you saw wearing it yourself. When we do a full makeup video, we try to skip through the blush part and don't really focus on the blush application and the colors. So this was a video for you who wanted to have that blush but not overly done. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.